items available for purchase. Take my money, Sakurai. However, please all allow us to offer this pass Just before we're ready to reveal all of my money, Sakurai. I will give you I all of my money. Give me the DLC. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Keeping Up With Gaming. I've got an amazing one for you today. We're going to be checking out the new Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I have heard so many good things about this. I'm a few hours behind because I had to go to school. But I'm checking it out now. No spoilers. I don't know what's going to be in it, but I am super excited. I'm hoping that at least one of the characters from my top 10 video is going to be in there. Sakurai just does him. He does whatever he wants. I know he listens to the community, but at the end of the day, if he wants a character in the game, it's going to be in the game. If he doesn't want it in the game, it's not going to be in the game. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I want to see what happens in this Nintendo Direct. Oh, my Ice Climbers coming back. They're coming back with some vengeance, bro. They're going to be so good. Hello, this is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited, and this is the final Nintendo Direct before the launch of the Super Smash one. Brothers Ultimate. So far, we've confirmed 72 fighters, Jesus 74 Christ. if you count Pokemon Trainers 3. So far, the entire team has worked them. really hard. No game, no game had this With many With this characters. Nintendo Direct, Jesus we'll have man. revealed every fighter you can find in the game. Okay, let's do this. Come on, Sakurai, just give me the one. Just give me the one. I want it so bad. Give me one of my top ten. Put Paper Mario in there or somebody, please. <laughs> Any one of them. <laughs> I like that they even have to add not actual gameplay. Okay. Oh. Who we got? Oh, we got Ken. Ken turns up the heat. Okay. Okay, Ken. We got another Street Fighter here. We're gonna put Ryu to shame. We're gonna see who's the best now. Honestly, uh, I guess he's just gonna be an Echo Fighter, but you know, a little bit of differences. But I could see Ken being even better. Like, I don't know. Who? Do, what do y'all think? Leave me in the comments below if you think that Ken might end up being better than Ryu. He might be a higher tier. absolutely shredded i love these cutscenes that they make for this stuff it's too good is that king k roll that's right yeah. oh shit oh shit it's is that emperor is that emperor <laughs> yes it's in a roar it's in a roar it enters the ring i thought it was gonna be decidui so, guys i really fire, thought huh? it was gonna be decidui but i can't be mad we got another pokemon representation Incineroar is from the new game from uh, the Aloha region, and he's dope. Like, he's dope. Like, I can't complain. I wanted to send you I. Next best thing. Oh, my goodness. He looks like he's going to be hit hard. Let's see it. Let's see this ultimate. Ooh. 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 Oh, absolute obliteration, man. Oh, he's going to be good. Oh, I like him even more than Ken, the Ken's in the game. Look at the graphics on this. It's too good. <laughs> All right, what we got next? That's already two. That's already two new characters. Let's see where they fit in. I bet Incineroar is going to be on the right side. Yeah, but far right, there was a big gap. Yep, I was like, that's gonna be a big character right there. <laughs> oh man, who else are they gonna add? Please, I just, I was so close Hailing on one the of them. Street I knew it was gonna series. be one of the new Pokemon Ryu's from rival the Ken joins as an Echo Fighter. Yeah, I figured he'd be an Echo Fighter. In he his original like game, Ken could be considered Ryu's Echo Fighter. Though perhaps you could say Luigi is the original Echo Fighter. But let's get back to Ken. I mean, kind of. But Ken has been distinguished from Ryu over the years. But the Ken you'll see this time is based on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Here's how he'll differ from Ryu. 
His heavy shoryuken turns up the heat. The shape of his hadoken is different too. And his Tatsumaki Senpukyaku strikes opponents multiple times. Okay. Hell wheel. I really like that back throw. That is a good back throw. We've included lots of Ken's signature moves, such as his famous kicks, which change based on your command inputs. He's a They're bit such faster than Ryu. Characters, and also man. I, that's why I can never get into Ryu. He's titles. such a technical character to Just get like into. Just like you, he has you, two final smashes. You really have to know what you're doing. Man. First, like, the spinning uppercut. You have to know all the combos to get. Like, but if you know the combos, you're going to be really good versus series. Execute a final smash near an opponent, and you'll instead perform a Shippu Jin Raigek. Jesus. This is the one. This now the for one. our last new challenger, Incineroar. I it guess you could Pokemon, say I called it mainly uses that a new Pokemon moves, from that series is going to be put its in. throws are a bit more powerful. Decidueye, Incineroar. Like a true pro wrestler, when one of its attacks is Charmander, successful, Bulbasaur, it'll you know. pose for the audience. It's close. Luckily, you can cancel out of these poses at any time, so they won't open you up to additional enemy attacks. Wow. Its neutral special is called Darkest Lariat. It was Incineroar's signature move in the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games. Perhaps it's something okay. of a red So cycle. it's basically like Rob's it's up special uh, is cross -top. Top. You'll leap up and come rocketing back down. Oh, that's actually really cool because that's so accurate to the Pokemon game. That's exactly what it looks like if you with mess the cross up, it's easy to self Very dangerous. So be careful. <laughs> that's how you kill yourself real fast. For its side special, Incineroar makes opponents run the ropes after a dashing grab. When they bounce back your way, press the button That's dope. just That's the right dope. I like that they added some wrestling. If you're too early, yeah. you'll do a back body drop. Wait too long, and you'll fail. Nail the timing, and you'll pull off a powerful lariat. Wow. Okay, so he's going to be a little more technical. Its down special is revenge. When damaged, Incineroar's burning passion comes to the surface, powering up its next attack. That's Incineroar's idea of a counterattack. And its final smash... Max Malicious Moons. Oh, it's Ooh, even faster it and fiercer than the Jesus Christ. I can just imagine the pain. That's just an automatic just kill. It's too good. We finally revealed all of the fighters you'll find in the game. This is the initial fighter select screen. Wow. There aren't very many at first. That is it not is a lot the at same all. Amount as the original Nintendo Eight? 64 game. Jeez. And once you've unlocked them all. Oh. Oh. It'll look like so this. So many, man. It may seem hard to guess where each one's located, but they're sorted by number in the order they joined the series. Wow. I hope you'll enjoy battling with all 74, 74. fighters on the roster. Okay, so I feel I have a feeling we're gonna get some DLCs. That's all the characters that's in the game. I know we're gonna get some DLCs. These amiibos be looking good though. I have almost every single amiibo, and I'm going to get these as well. Look at Ridley. Look at Madison, my boy. I'm gonna love playing as Ridley. I can't tell if he's gonna be like a gimmick character and like, or if he's gonna be really good for competitive play or not yet. I wanna find out though. You may recall that we're creating Amiibo. Oh, uh, guess who's gonna be in line for all of those Amiibos? Here's a look at the new this Amiibo guy. figures. <laughs> I'm gonna be there the day of. Oh yeah, I forgot they're bringing back Young Link. Isabelle's new. Wow. We determined that collectible trophies wouldn't be a great fit for this game. Honestly, they were really difficult to develop too. That said, the Super Smash Bros. series is one massive crossover at heart, and we Most want to create crossover more. ever. A Move way to enjoy Avengers? What do you mean? other than fighters. What do you mean, brother? A variety brother? of video game worlds. Here's what we came up with. They're called spirits. Spirits, okay. And I don't mean the spooky kind. To put it simply, He's got jokes. these spirit He's got characters jokes. I like will it. lend a helping <laughs> hand to your fighters, powering them up in battle. Okay. In the Super Smash Brothers series, the characters are toys in the real world, but they are fighters in the world of the imagination. Returning to the real world is an ongoing theme. In the imagination, you can battle impossible combinations of characters. Yeah? We're getting a new story In mode? In this mysterious world, the unspeakable happens. Many beloved characters lose their physical forms. All of them, except the fighters, are turned into spirits, unable to return to the real world. This is a spirit. 
Fighters can join forces with spirits to enhance their powers. Hmm. There's a massive amount of wildly different spirits. Okay. There are several classes of spirits. Standard spirits are dubbed novices. Stronger ones have the title advanced. Especially strong ones are called aces. And some are in a league of their own. Legend. Okay. What are you... Okay, so they power you up. You One primary collect, spirit can be assigned at a time. A primary spirit's power will be added to the fighter who has it equipped. In some cases, these augmented fighters become extremely powerful. Wow. That was a lot of boost. If a primary spirit has enough available slots, you can assign them support spirits. Oh my god, look what well, they did to the Palantir. That's ugly as hell. Stats, <laughs> oh my god. Spirits lend them additional skills. Once this looks kind of complicated. And support spirits are set. Your fighters all powered up. <laughs> the main way to acquire spirits is to win spirit battles. Okay. Like you get real find people a variety or no? Of spirits lined up on the spirit board. Choose the one you want to battle for. When you do, you'll face off against a fighter whose abilities and personality are kinda sorta similar to the opposing spirit. Okay. Makes sense. In the case of the Lakitu and Spiny spirit, I feel it. you'll I battle feel against it. Iggy Koopa and a group of small red Bowsers. Iggy's riding high in his Koopa Clown car, of course. Here are some examples of other battles you can expect. <coughs> Man, I'm gonna like, I feel like I'm gonna like Incineroar. I think it's gonna be pretty dope, actually. Oh, Dean, they're all, they're all freaking invisible. That's annoying as hell. <laughs> That's a, that is a Mega Man right there. Look at that. Ooh, Isabel. I haven't got to see too much of her yet. I still don't. Honestly, not a, the biggest fan of them putting Isabel in. I wish they, there are so many other good characters they could have put in than rather than Isabel. King K. Rule is gonna be the new biggest like tank, man. He's gonna be ridiculous. Some me sword fighters in there. I hope they kind of buff me, uh, me fighters, because honestly, me fighters were not very good in this last game. Like they didn't really do very much, and nobody really plays as them. You definitely don't see them in tournaments, or I guess if they could put a standard for them, you can play them in tournaments. But it's just like they're just not good enough for tournament play. I guess that's kind of not the point of it. The point is that you can dress up and make it look like you're playing the game. So I get it. But, ah, not a fan of them either. Get the head. Hit the puppet fighter to acquire okay. the spirit within. There we go. Mimic you. Even if you accidentally hit the shield, the damage will carry over, so you'll have an advantage the next time you encounter that spirit. Okay, cool. So you just steal their spirit. So you basically Primary like Indians. They always thought you took type. their spirit whenever you took a picture of Attack them or something is strong like that. Against grab. Grab is strong against shield, and shield is strong against attack. It's important to pick a spirit that has an advantage over your opponent. Yeah, this is kind of basic. When you encounter fire, water, like grass. poison floors and slumber floors, be sure to prep yourself with an appropriate support spirit. Battle conditions offer hints before wow, battle. Wow, they're so make they're making sure this like in depth, man. Now you got to start thinking about what you pick with spirits and stuff before you go into battlefields. With spirits on your side, there are all kinds of things you can do. When you fight with a primary spirit equipped, it'll level up after battle. Nice. Or you can feed it snacks. Some spirits even have an enhanced form you can only unlock by leveling them up. Okay, get that mega growl down. You can also send spirits back to the real world. 
While you do have to say goodbye to that particular spirit, its core will stay. And by combining these cores, you can summon a new spirit. Nice. Man, it's gonna take so long to learn all you of can this. Also honestly, train I'm like, I'm excited. Like, it looks pretty cool, but it looks like it's gonna take a very long time to get used to it. Treasure, it's definitely something they haven't done in these the smashes like unlikely in the past. teams of characters, but each team could be somebody's dream come true. Training and exploring continues to yield results, even while playing other modes, or after turning off the game. So if you send out your spirits, just let them do their thing. Certain spirits are known as masters. You can beat them to unlock facilities. Spirits can also be used to power up amiibo figure players. Nice! That'll be helpful. You must bid them farewell, but you can Ooh, the do the amiibos, do they transfer over? That is a good question, man, because I have leveled up it's a lot of my amiibos on my characters on my Wii U, series. and if they don't switch but over, I'm going to be kind of upset about that. Like, I don't want to get a whole new set of amiibos for my Switch and for my Wii U. Like, even when if it's a one-time transfer spirit, over, I want to have them on my Switch. Meters enabled. Some spirits even help you fill up your gauge at a faster rate. Yoshi! <laughs> I freaking love it. Another way to put it, the spirit system lets you simulate battles between characters from more series than ever before. Wow, so you, you can, can affect the battlefield. That's pretty cool combinations too. And situations. Man, there's going to be so many changes. It's going to be crazy. The power of enemy and ally spirit teams is displayed here. <laughs> Of course, stronger spirit teams make it easier to defeat weaker spirits. The more your power overshadows theirs, the less you'll be rewarded. It pays to have a fair fight. Okay. I'd rather fight somebody better While than me and just a team, press gain the like y that. Button for a recommendation that has a type advantage against the opposing spirit team. The game will recommend support spirits who can help out with certain conditions. Keep that in mind. You can also fight against other God, players. This looks so clear. Spirits. This whole game just looks amazing. The graphics are great. Given the way spirit they put a lot of time battle, and work into it. I like the visuals and just how clean everything is. Or balance is. your strengths in a two-on-two -two battle. Okay, online. Play. The game lets you battle together with friends via local wireless, or take the fight to the world with online play. To connect two Nintendo Switch consoles, press the DR button to pull up the dashboard and select Local Wireless. Okay. What kind of online play There's we got? There's no longer we got a need to separate the online modes into For Fun and For Glory. Instead, matchmaking is based on three factors. Okay, what are they? Let me know, what are they? For online battles, you can set your preferred rules. These rules can be pre-registered, so you can quickly select your favorite playstyle. Before okay, battle, like one player's preferred rules will be chosen at random, and all players will fight using those rules. Oh. You can also choose not to set any preferred rules and let the others decide instead. I don't know how I feel about that, because I don't want to play all that items and find stuff, man. No items. If you're not playing no items for a and on Omega Battle or Battlefield, then why are you even playing Global competitive Smash? smash? Being factored into You're matchmaking, trash. But it's still used as an online leaderboard as well. A high GSP score, such as 100,000, means you've got more points than 99,999 other players. Wow. Your GSP will change as the total population of players increases or you're overtaken. If you're yearning for a challenge, try increasing your global smash power so that you'll naturally end up with some more serious opponents. By the way, you can set a GSB score for each fighter. Wow, so you can be you ranked for each individual fighter. GSP based on so even if you're not the best overall, but you're the best with that character, you can be represented with that. I like it. I'm about purpose, to be the top 200,000 ice climbers, Please okay? I'm about to wreck some big boys. With the ice climbers, so in a Cineroar, you would think I'm ice, he's fire. I lose, important. I won't, because I'm gonna smack that big boy. Okay? Will prioritize smack him with the ice climbers. Players. So even if you set your preferred rules, please understand that we can't promise you'll always be matched accordingly. As such, we'd appreciate it if you could make your connection as stable as possible. A wired LAN cable is recommended. 
That's fair. We've it's very annoying when there's so much lag. For local wireless and online battles. Once your global smash power is high enough, you can enter elite battles. Yes. When you reach this level, feel free to pat yourself on the back. You're good, period. After the game releases, we may adjust the game balance, and the team will definitely pay attention ah, to the just results. This of game, look at that. Oh, goodness, they look so good. I'm gonna see Everyone how fast I can get that elite rank, man. Smash tag. <laughs> if you beat a fellow player, you'll receive their smash tag. Okay. But it's not like you'll lose your smash tag even if you lose a battle. You simply gain more tags as you win. Try to collect lots of smash tags. You can select short messages and send them before and after battles using the directional buttons. Let's smash Freely again. Choose from a wide I really want to smash. I want to smash again. Becky, let me smash. After you've chosen a fighter, you can enjoy other modes. Gina always lets me smash. Again. Becky, why won't you let me smash? Not every mode will be available while matchmaking runs in the background, but you can leave and enter some game modes. Spectator mode returns once again, so you can watch other players' battles. Maybe you can pick up some good tips that way. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't about watching. I'm about Form doing. Form a two-player team and play together online with a single Nintendo Switch system. You'll be paired up against two-player teams with the same setup. Fair. Wow, we got a lot when of online stuff, online, don't we? You can create a special type of room to fight other players. If you set the rules for one of these battle arenas, you can fight against your friends. Here, there are spots where you can join the battle, wait in line, or even spectate. Cool. It all depends where you place your token. When you're in a battle arena, this should come in handy. No way. No way. You can watch on your phone? With the Nintendo no. Switch Online app, oh, you way. can voice chat with others in battle arenas. <coughs> it may become an essential tool for some players. We are also developing a free service for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and we're naming it Smash World. Instead of focusing on stats like win-loss records, we're allowing players to post gameplay videos, watch them, and more. Once the service starts, we'll offer regular updates so you can post to your heart's content. Next, I'd like to change topics and talk a little about the assist trophies that will support your fighters in battle. Do you know which characters come from which games? Ooh, waifu! Nice! Nice! Han hao! Han hao! Stealing your souls. I've never seen that game. Pissed off! They put Waluigi as a set trope! Why? If they don't make Waluigi a DLC, I swear on my life, I'll never play this game more than I would if he was in the game. I'm definitely gonna play the game regardless. Cause, come on, look, look at the game. It's yeah, there's no ammo. Anyways, they need to put him in as a DLC later on, even if it's way later. Like Mewtwo, like Mewtwo wasn't in the game. DLC, DL motherfucking C. Okay, I will pay for it if I have to. I am so surprised Springman wasn't put in the game. That's crazy to me. Considering that's one of the top games on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know why they wouldn't put him in the game. Wily Capsule. Willy Capsule. He, he, so sorry, so sorry. Do not hurt me no more. Swat. 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 Swat, swat. <laughs> this might be a Tiki. Ooh, I like it. I don't know what a lot of these games are. These are kind of obscure, more obscure. But I mean, that's Fire Emblem. But I never really played Fire Emblem. If you guys know all of these references and all the assist trophies, let me know in the comments below because I just do not know all of them. Whoa! 
Oh, damn. You don't play around. Back a click a flip. Fix on my head. I look hella good while I kick your ass. What kind of digital shit is this? <laughs> look at the... That's like their... Virtua Fighter series, Akira. Akira, Harire, carry up! Mmm! Nice! <laughs> the total number of assist trophies is now 59. That's a Actually, lot of assist trophies. That dragon is so time. badass. Assist trophies who can be KO'd can also be defeated by the fighter who summoned them just before they're KO'd. That way, you won't lose a point to the other player. Oh man, that sucks that you lose a point now, if I use them. Now, I'd like them. to cover a variety of other features in the game. If you want to review the controls or game modes, press the ZR button to open the dashboard and look in here. And they have—they should have there customizations for your remotes too. To check out. See, that's what I'm excited about. Five v five. That looks cool. So it's like playing League of Legends or freaking uh, Vainglory and stuff like that. Century Smash may look familiar to veterans. It feels great to keep smashing enemies off the screen. Oh, I remember it? that. I remember you that. Can play on Trying to beat a hundred of them was so you hard. Can choose the music too. In previous games, you had to unlock every fighter before playing All Star mode. But now you can play it right out of the box. Okay, I'm good with the that. Whatever works. Fighters will appear Man, they need to get to the point where they tell us about the new classic mode, and I want to know about. You can save the replay data of your. And battles. I want to know, like, if they have like a game mode that's going to be and like the subspace emissary. Emissary. That's what I really want to know. Because this whole board game one that they had last time, the There's Smash Bros. Where you can read garbage. Quick tips and tricks Absolute you see garbage. Absolute garbage. When viewing them, you can sort by category or fighter. <laughs> Complete challenges to earn rewards. This time, each page is sorted by category, and the layout looks more like a comic book. That's pretty cool. Press the button to check out each The picture. aesthetic is looks, just looks so good in this. The records menu tracks your battle history. There are five different options. You can view battle data separately for offline and online play. Trade in smash tags to score some in-game gold. Cool. So the more wins that person has, the more it's worth. So if you beat a better player, gold can be you exchanged get more for music for tracks, spirits, and items for spirits mode. If you're collecting music, I recommend visiting the shop to find the ones you want instead of just relying on challenges. There's a lot of music in this game. There's so much freaking music. You can enter the options menu by pressing the ZR button to open the dashboard. This one game supports 11 languages. Jesus Christ, 11? I know this is very important to some I people. only speak one. For example, the voices of Pokemon- So I don't know how it's gonna help me, languages. but I'm sure it's gonna help somebody out there that don't speak English, but if you don't speak English, you better learn something because America is, is great. We're gonna build that wall, and I voted for Trump. These options were highly requested and well worth the effort. Come on, it all. Come on, it. Freaking love it. TV mode and handheld mode have separate settings for brightness and sound. They'll change automatically when you dock and undock, so be sure to set both. This is the only reason that I freaking even buy the radar the that displays Switch. the location so I can of all fighters. This you can change its settings and to play times. Fortnite on it. But to get this game, I have not paid for any other game. Online play, it's the only game you can I'll make have your on teammates that. semi and it was worth it. So you don't get it was worth it. This right here is why it was worth it. If you're fighting against a friend on the same system, you can adjust the strength of your fighters. Sometimes a player is just too good, and you want to take measures to ensure it's a fair fight. If that's the case, try using this feature. When custom balance is adjusted, a symbol will be displayed. Of course, this feature is not available during wireless and online battles. Well, obviously. You can't. That would be broken. You can customize your Mi fighters and change their outfits. Nice. They got In some addition cool to the voice ones. options, Damn, there that's are a variety of outfits to choose from. He's got the he's got the smash on the freaking headband too. Speaking of me fighters, let me introduce you to some new outfits we added in.
Oh, I freaking, oh my god, I hate them so much. Those were literally the most annoying fucking people in freaking Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, piss me off so much. So, Walmart brand Splatoon. Walmart brand, uh, Ribbon Girl. Great value. That's what they are. Great value. Oh my god. <laughs> GB Robo. Okay, so the robo. I got it. That was pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, Nothing there's crazy. something I should point out. As I said, we've revealed all of the fighters you can in find in the base in the game. game. You, you tricky man. I know you put in more people. But there are even more. Give me the DLCs. While we've already implemented a huge roster of fighters, this is the Super Smash Brothers series. Which means we're leaving the opportunity open to add in more fighters as paid They're doing DLC. another Smash Ballot? Since we already included every fighter from the past games, that means there are no more fighters to include unless we develop new fighters from scratch. That's true. And we're not talking about Echo Fighters. We'll be developing and selling sets that will include one fighter, one stage, and multiple music tracks. Okay. The price for each set is expected to be $5.99. Fuck it. Sakurai, take my money. Take my money, Sakurai. Time, I will give you, will you all of it right now. I will buy every five single one of them. Fighters, five stages. Every one. All of their music tracks. There's going to be five? What is that? $25? When creating Where's something like the Fighters Pass, ideally, we should reveal what's included before it becomes available for purchase. Take my money, Sakurai. However, please all allow us to offer this pass before we're ready to reveal all of my money, Sakurai. I will give you I all of my money. Those who are give me the value DLC. Will purchase it. I will buy them as Again, soon as they come the out. price is $24.99 for all five sets. Yes! Now that we finally 25, I will pay you of this DLC, twenty dollars right there. There's we'll a forty keep the really change, tip it. the waiter, tip the bill. You know what I'm saying? Give me the DLCs, soccer, right? <laughs> I wonder if I'll ever get to take a break. No, soccer, right? You will not. Here's one purchase ever bonus you'll get break. with the fighters pass. Actually, I saw some stuff about them saying Sakurai has lost weight and that he's it's a me unhealthy sword because he spends 12 hours Rex every single Blade day working on Smash. We decided and which fighter six out of seven days we started planning. So, so we honestly, he puts a lot of time in this, and I respect two, this man which was announced so much. After planning and he's created and the best game that's ever existed. I'm sorry, like this is the best game without a doubt. We're also including some music from the Xenoblade and his second series. Give it a listen at Gaur playing sometime. Other Xenoblade Chronicles characters will also appear as spirits. We've yet to create any of the paid DLC, and we haven't locked down any release dates. But we'll start working on them as soon as we're finished with the main game. Yes. It may take around a year or so to finish releasing all the DLC. But, on a separate note, we're currently developing something. Something you'll get for free as a limited time offer if you buy the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game now. It isn't finished yet. But I want to give you a special sneak peek. What is it? I'll buy it. Take my money. Take my money! <laughs> oh, Bio looking bad. He's not, he's not happy. <laughs> Character? Is Petty a character? He's just gonna be <laughs> Look at this. My man. Petty in the game. So this is a limit time character, free to play if you buy the game right now. No way. Do you see the reach on that? Oh my god. That's further than Corey. Petty in the game. Petty in the game. What do you mean, brother? That's right. 
Piranha Plant will take root. Piranha Super Plant, Smash Brothers Petty, Ultimate, whatever, man. Not as an assist trophy, but as an actual tomato, fight. peanut, piccata, it can whatever. Spit poison, fire off spiky balls, and perform long range attacks. That is this that is character is full man. of surprises. Oh my! God. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We've gotten a little head start on it, but it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. That's fine, Please bro. Do tuned. you. Hey, take your time. Remember, Don't worry about Piranha it. Piranha Plant right. is a free, limited time offer. For the physical version of the game, you only need to go through the My Nintendo Gold Point registration process to receive it. I hope you'll consider pre-ordering. We're also creating an amiibo. It has a nice curved form to it. Nice, that looks clean. That's one thing I always respected them for. Their amiibos Later look today, so you'll good. Be able to for a $15 the game toy that actually works in the game, Nintendo they are so I hope good. Go Painted Nintendo well, e made well. Nintendo.com before you forget. Okay. I want a Smash Bros. I have an announcement for everyone watching this in North America. On our official site, you can find information for a variety of upcoming hands-on events. Participants will have a chance to try out all 74 fighters, so please check out the website to find out where we'll show up next, and more. That's it for the last Nintendo Direct for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate before the game launches. Freaking dope, bro. Oh my but god. But before we go... I was so hyped before, but I'm hyped now. I should mention that the adventure mode in this game is nothing like what we came up with for the Subspace Emissary. Yes! That said, what exactly caused all these characters to lose their bodies and transform into spirits? I'll show you how it all begins, and leave the rest to your imagination. Okay then, please look forward to the game's release. I will. Bye Sakurai. Thank you so much Sakurai. You are the dopest, the illest, the bet. Don't let a single one get away. need to take down about 10. Stow your fear. It's now or never. We'll win this. I know we will. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. No, no, no. You better stop that boy. Counter. Counter. Shield block. Shoot. Pew pew. No. My. No, not Pikachu. Oh, God. Why? The carnage, man. Oh, shit. Mr. Stark, I'm not feeling so good. Yeah, that shit ain't gonna work. God, just, just be real. <laughs> Squirt the ground. That'll work. Jesus Christ, incinerated. Get rid of the freaking box, man. Get rid of the box. <laughs> Kirby, Sakurai's favorite, lasts longer than anybody else. He ain't about it. Did he survive? I literally have chills, guys. I have goosebumps right now. That looks so freaking cool. Is Kirby the only one left that's not a spirit? And we have to like, is that my boy? Is that my boy? Freaking Kirby, hell yeah. Face man, but he's living, he's the only one. The OG, the original game. God, that looks gorgeous. 
So is it gonna be like a subspace emissary again? Cause that that's gonna be dope. Gonna have to unlock every character individually. Yes. Look at those eyes. Oh my God. This is gonna be so freaking cool. I freaking love it. I'm gonna waste so much time on this. I'm gonna start failing on my classes. I'm in college. I might have to drop out just to play this game. Honestly. This is all freaking gorgeous. Wow. Simply. I could not. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You could not ask for a better direct than that. They literally gave us everything we wanted, just short of Waluigi. We just got Ken. We just got Incineroar. We just got a pos uh in the future free if you buy the game soon enough, you're gonna get a piranha plant, basically petty. Like, the there's gonna be a new subspace emissary. Well, it's not gonna be called that, but it's gonna be basically the same thing because that was so freaking cool from the first game. I'm telling, just, just take my money right now. I will, pay, I will buy every single thing that they put into this game. I will buy it all. I will buy it all. This was amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like my channel, make sure to hit the bell notification so you know when we post new stuff. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe so that I know y'all are watching and y'all want more of this content. But as usual, guys, remember to keep calm and keep up. And I'll see you in the next one.